God says, I'm going to give you all the trees of the Garden of Eden and everything that I've made is good for you. Except one thing. And that's one thing was actually a tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And God says, in order for you to continue to remain men whom that I wanted to have in life, you will have to stay away from the tree. The reason why God give his commandment is simply because God wants to restrict our movement from thinking that we are free being in terms of wanting to do as we please while we are being led by God. Everything in the universe of God are actually under the law. There is no way that God can make something and leave it to run its own show. We have done science. We, there's, there's the law of gravity. You know What goes up will definitely going to come down. It is a law. We are told that what you eat, that's what you become. It is a law of nature. If you want to get sick, eat anyhow. And you end up being sick as well. So the laws are all over the place governing animate things as well as inanimate things. Everyone and everything that God has made in the universe is governed by the law. The devil came into the Garden of Eden and he said, when you are going to walk against the will of God, when you are going to walk against the commandment of Jehovah, when you are going to step out of the boundaries that God has set up in place, you are going to be just as God. The devil disobeyed God and the devil was cast out. He lost his, his position as a covering cherub. What will be the final destiny of man if man will give into the hands of the liar who is the devil himself? The same thing that happened to the devil by losing his position in heaven will be the same thing that will happen to man. The first thing is when man sinned against God, the covering which God actually covered man with in the garden of Eden, which was the glory of God, actually departed from man. Man was driven out of the garden of Eden, the beautiful home, the house of peace, the paradise of God. He lost it. Whenever disobedience is lost, come also along with. It is impossible for us to keep company with God when we choose to walk against God. And this is the greatest lesson that you and I will have to learn along the way. If we are to walk with God one step at a time and be able to spend eternity with Him, we'll have to agree with God and be able to remain on the right-hand side of the door. 